Welcome to my channel, Light is a Feather Tarot. This is for the sign of Scorpio. So this is for your sun, moon, and rising. Please take the messages that resonate. If the message doesn't resonate, please do not make it fit. Also, this is a timeless reading. So whenever these messages are meant for you, then spirit will bring them to you. Also, I wanted to mention once I hit 200 subscribers, I will be putting out um, a free giveaway for a free tarot reading with me. Thank you guys so much for your support, for your likes, for your comments. I truly appreciate it. So let's see what the energies have to say for Scorpio. All right, let's see. All right, so we're starting out with victimhood. Take responsibility. Oh, he looks really sad. <laughs> All right. Next, we have support. I support myself with supportive people who believe in my dreams. Okay. So let's see what the cards have to say. Scorpio. so six of swords so this speaks about you you moving away from any type of mental conflict you know you lightening the load mentally you know any type of stress any type of anxiety any type of heavy thoughts with these cards put together this may not be for everyone but you know you could be running away from something that you have to take responsibility for you know, while you may, you know, while you can move away from negative energy, you know, sometimes you can run away from, run away from things or thoughts or words that you communicated and maybe you didn't say it the, the right way, the most tactful way. And that message isn't for everyone, but you know, some of you could be running away from a conversation or, um, yeah, basically a conversation. I don't want to say an altercation or argument, but maybe there's something that you just, you're not ready to uh, talk about. You have the nine of wands here. So this, you know, speaks about you not giving up. You know, you may be a little wounded in the process, maybe a little tired. You have the three of swords. And I'm going to get a clarifying card for that. Hair font. And the Knight of Wands. So on the bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Cups. You know, so the Queen of Cups, you know, typically she's, she's pretty in control of her emotions. You know, she's pretty calm, cool, and collected. Underneath that, you have the Ace of Pentacles, so some type of brand new beginning coming in. Beautiful. Um, typically, Pentacles are in regards to finances. You know, it could be something unexpected, some type of financial abundance that comes in that's unexpected that you weren't expecting. So the overall energy is very beautiful, but either way, you know, with the Queen of Cups coming up here, you are very in control of your emotions. So let's see. Spirit, please clarify these six of swords. What are we moving away from mentally? Queen of Cups. See, what did I say? So you could be moving away from your emotions. You know, that's, you know, if this card was reversed, you know, she's so focused on her cup that the water is just going to keep rising and rising. So some of you could, you know, even though some of you may be playing it cool, 
you may be running away or moving away from something like an emotional situation. You have the tower here. So I feel like this is something sudden, some type of sudden change. Let me one more card. Yeah. So, you know, there may could have been a disagreement or argument that you had with another person. This situation just kind of, this argument could have came out of nowhere, like you didn't expect it. Um, maybe they said some things or maybe you said some things and it was hurtful because it, it, it definitely seems like, you know, you're kind of wounded out of this situation. With the Three of Cups here, you know, maybe maybe you guys were celebrating too much maybe you were drinking too much and maybe you know things were said that weren't really meant so with the four of cups here you know he's a little bit uh speaks about sadness boredom discontent let me get one more for the four of cups And then you have the Ten of Pentacles. So with you not giving up, you know, maybe you're not, maybe you're not giving up on celebrating too. You know, this is a general reading, so all messages won't apply to everyone. So maybe, you know, maybe you're not giving up on, on some type of celebration or some type of gathering. This also with the Four of Cups is like the hand of God, like someone offering you something and maybe you're you're just like, maybe the offer isn't packaged the way that you expected it to be. So you're just not interested. But if you do receive any offers, you know, especially with the support coming up, maybe someone's going to come in and they're going to try to offer you a helping hand or advice or something like that. I think you should take it. I think you should be open to the support coming in. You know, the support could be coming from someone that supports you and loves you. Family, friends. But whatever this this thing is that they offer you, I feel like it's going to make you feel like the Ten of Pentacles. You know, it's going to make you feel secure and happy and it, it's it's going to make you feel very heartfelt. Spirit, what confirmations for the Three of Swords? So, you know, the Three of Swords speaks about some type of past hurt, some type of sorrow. You know, maybe this is in regards to that argument that happened or disagreement that happened. You know, um, maybe you felt, maybe this person that you're disagreeing with, maybe they, they make you feel like, in shackles or or um, trapped or bound or stuck you know this message isn't for everyone but maybe maybe you're truly not taking responsibility maybe you're making yourself the victim or vice versa maybe they're making themselves the victim maybe they're telling everyone you know they're making me feel trapped or, or bound or something like that and we have the ace of wands here So, you know, the Ace of Wands speaks about some type of new beginning, some type of spark of inspiration. Maybe you're going to think about a new way or new perspective on how to look at the situation or this past hurt. You know, but I feel like you're not going to give up with the Nine of Wands coming up, whatever the situation is. So the Hierophant, you have the Queen of Pentacles. So, you know, the Hierophant could represent a large entity like company, maybe a job or something like that. You have the Queen of Pentacles here. You know, this could represent your energy or someone around you. It could represent a mother figure. Um, with the Queen of Pentacles, she's very grounded. You know, you could see she's like, she's a nurturer. She takes care of, you know, maybe that's the person that's gonna come through 
and support you and offer you support. Maybe offer you advice as well. Maybe they're offering you advice on the on this job front situation. Maybe they're offering you advice with this person that you're not getting, you know, along with. But the hangman here, it lets me know that you're you're gonna take in what whatever this person says and i feel like it's going to give you some type of spark inspiration and it's going to change your perspective so next you have the knight of wands here i feel like there's going to be some type of change some type of change in your focus in your passion yeah so you're definitely going to be moving forward and it's going to be in a very victorious way, in a very successful way, a very passionate way. You know, you may have some type of regret or sorrow in the past, and you know that kind of keeps coming up. But, you know, just know that you still have two cups behind you that are completely full. And you have to learn the lessons of the past. You can't stand that energy of the spilled cups, right? I kind of say like crying over spilled milk. The most, the, the, the best thing you can do, the best thing you can do is you have to take responsibility for the things that you've learned, the things that you can, you know, do better with it as a person. So in the future, you know, you're able to make a decision that you're, that's a sound decision that you're comfortable with, right? Because the queen of, the queen of swords, she's very analytical, you know? So very beautiful reading. You guys are definitely gonna have to put a comment below. Let me know how these messages resonated. Let me know how everything turns out. So I hope that you guys be safe and take care of yourself. And until next time.